Drinks that come in plastic bottles have become such an everyday way of life. We don't even think about all the resources that get used to make the plastic and then where they go when we throw them out. Each American throws out about 21 pounds, that's 9.5 kilos, of PET plastic drink bottles per year. That works out to between about 200 and 500 bottles per person. Now that is quite a bit of plastic just to have a drink. The purpose of this video is to unravel the true environmental cost of plastic bottled drinks and to try and get you really motivated to use your reusable drink bottle every single day. You might think, how can just a few plastic drink bottles make a difference? Or people ask, doesn't recycling solve everything? Or for some people they think it's just too hard to remember to bring my reusable water bottle with me every single day. My name's Katie, I'm an environmental engineer and a zero waste evangelist. So follow me and I will take you through the abyss of what is involved in manufacturing this one litre bottle of PET plastic and a few tips on what you can do to get super motivated to use your reusable water bottle. But first let's start with the environmental impact of plastic. So plastic bottles like this are made from PET which is a polymer and it stands for polyethylene tetraphthalate. The chemicals that make PET are called xylene and ethylene and they are extracted from crude oil. Most of America's crude oil comes from deep drilling where we saw environmental catastrophes like Deepwater Horizon, from the Middle East where we've seen the Iraq War, or 20% of America's oil is imported from Canada that comes from the Canadian tar sands, an environmentally catastrophic process which destroys thousands of acres of forest as the oil is extracted from the shale under the surface. The other major ingredient in plastic manufacture is natural gas which more and more often is coming from fracking. Now fracking has resulted in thousands of water pollution claims across America. Secondly, there is the electricity that is used to make the plastic. Now the electricity requires coal to be burned. Coal which causes mountaintops to be destroyed, causes water pollution and causes air pollution and is incredibly toxic to the workers and the communities who live around these coal mines. Thirdly, there is all the energy that's required to deliver the bottles by truck. Now all of the PET is manufactured on the east coast of America and so all the trucks have to drive it across the country to the west coast. So to add all of this up before we've even thrown the bottle away, this one litre bottle of water uses 100 mils of crude oil and I prepared some earlier. 1.5 cubic feet of natural gas and 83 grams of coal. This is now I'm going to blow this balloon up with carbon dioxide from my own lungs to show you how much carbon dioxide this one water bottle releases into the atmosphere. Jeez, carbon dioxide whew, really blows. Okay, this sphere of 3.5 cubic feet is how much carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere for every one litre of PET, plastic bottled water, that you drink. And this is why Zero Waste is about avoiding the environmental impacts of the products before they get to us. All of this goes into this plastic bottle before it even reaches our home, whether we recycle or not, or whether it goes into landfill. But you might ask, can't it be recycled? But the key problem with recycling is that 80% of the environmental impact of the manufacture of this bottle happens whilst the polymer is being manufactured. And recycling can only take away 10% at best of this environmental impact. But the reality is that recycling rates aren't that great. They're as high as 40% in progressive states like California, but then they become as low as 6% or even nothing in other states. New plastic drink bottles contain zero or maybe even at best 4% recycled polymers. Picking up the recycling takes energy too. It takes about 5 gallons of diesel to pick up one tonne of recycled plastic bottles. Then there are the caps. Now caps might not seem like a big deal, but they're made from a different type of plastic called polypropylene, which can contaminate the recycling and make it more expensive and just more difficult to recycle. And because there are so many contamination difficulties with recycling, most plastic is not recycled back into new PET plastic, but it's actually downcycled into a lower grade plastic that gets used for plastic lumber or golf balls or things like plumbing pipes. 
Even though recycling is sold as this peak green experience, recycling is not an environmentally benign process. All of those plastic bottles need to be washed, which of course uses water, uses electricity, and then causes more water pollution and air pollution. So what happens to the rest that is not recycled? Well, it could be incinerated, which means it'll release chemicals called dioxins, which are highly hazardous compounds. And if it is incinerated, it's gonna release even more carbon dioxide. But your plastic bottle will most likely end up in landfill, where it will be entombed and will most likely never ever break down. If your plastic bottle doesn't get recycled, it doesn't make it into an incinerator or into landfill, it will eventually make its way into the ocean where it will break down into smaller particles called microplastics and will eventually be ingested by sea life. Now scientists have found that in the North Pacific Gaia there is a ratio of six plastic particles to every one zooplankton. The plastic breaks into such small particles that it then becomes ingested by fish, which then in turn becomes hazardous to the human diet. Then there's your health. PET plastics contain chemicals called phthalates that may become released into the drink. Now, phthalates act as hormone disruptors in the human body. These toxic chemicals have been linked to breast cancer, to obesity, to a lower intellectual development, and to small genital sizes in baby boys. And now don't forget the bucks. If you spend $2 a day on some plastic bottle drink, that ends up to nearly $700 a year. Now if we work that out at 3% interest from the age of when you're 20 to when you are 60, that works out to $54,000 that you would save by giving up a $2 plastic bottle drink every single day. And don't forget that our whole society pays for the garbage that we put out on the street. Now, New York City spends $2.2 billion a year on sanitation and garbage collection. Now, think of all the other things, like schools or parks or homeless programs or art, that we could spend that money on if we created zero waste cities. Now, your job is to make the commitment to quit buying plastic bottled drinks forever and to make your reusable water bottle your best friend take it with you everywhere. If you don't already own a reusable water bottle, there are some wonderful brands out there and some beautiful water bottles. Have a look at Nalgene, which is BPA free. You can get them from Earthlust, which have these beautiful designs. There's another one called Glass-tastic, which is made of glass. One called the Bobble with a little water filter in it. Just have a look around. It's okay to spend you know, $20 or so on one of these water bottles because it will become such a fixture in your life and it will underpin this behavior of quitting the purchasing of plastic bottle drinks and also keeping you more hydrated. So the one behavioral trick that you need to learn to make your reusable water bottle part of your daily life is to never leave home without it. You've got the mantra keys, wallet, phone. Well, you want to add water bottle to the end of it. So you're leaving the house, keys, wallet, phone, water bottle. Now, if you're prone to forgetting your reusable water, put a sign up. Put a sign on your front door or put it on the doorknob that says, don't forget your water bottle. You can even put a sign in your car. You might want to put it on the car window. You might want to put it on the steering wheel. Something that will trigger your memory to fill up your water bottle and take it with you wherever you go. You want to be taking this water bottle to restaurants. You want to be taking it to the gym. You want to be taking it to parties, to nightclubs, to conferences, to work, to school, to university, in your car, wherever you go, you do not leave the house without this. So do fall in love with your reusable water bottle, make it part of your daily life practice, zero waste mastery, and enjoy the incredibly fulfilling feeling of knowing that every day that you don't create any waste, you are saving this huge amount of environmental resources from destroying the planet. Please do share this video with anyone you see drinking a plastic bottled drink and subscribe to the Detrash YouTube channel to learn more zero waste tips so we can detrash the world. Rufus, no, Rufus. Rufus, I told you, coal is bad for polar bears. It's really bad, Rufus, Rufus, no!